I competed against 13 Nuzlockers in a release day race of the brand new advanced difficulty ROM hack, Pokemon Run and Bun. Hosted by Pokemon Challenges, my fellow competitors and I raced to be the first streamer to collect four gym badges. The goal was simple, but the execution was anything but. Races are usually all about speed. However, unlike those lame, boring races around a 400 meter track where everyone almost always lives the race, this race was a Nuzlocke race, so my competitors could die. Since I've never been much of a Nuzlocke speedster, I figured that my best chance at victory was to go slow and steady, letting my competition metaphorically blow out their tires by making rushed mistakes. What? What? Mechanics? Hello? It was a bold strategy, but one that was well supported by historical literature. One of the first stories that famous old person Aesop ever wrote for his novel The Bible was called The Tortoise and the Hare, a riveting tale about the titular tortoise that won a race against the titular hare because the titular hare was cocky and took a nap in the middle of the race. It taught generations of children that even if you suck sh**, you can still win anything you set your mind to, as long as your opponent is narcoleptic. In other words, slow and steady wins the race. This run and bun race was exactly like that story, except that there were 13 hares, and the tortoise had to leave the event early because he made plans with his other tortoise friends for later in the evening. But with that, let's get started with my race of Pokemon Run and Bun. Pokemon Run and Bun release day race. Everybody in three, two, one, go! All right, let's check and see what the Pokemon are. Okay, it's Sinnoh starters. So it's Turtwig, Chimchar, and Pipla. Pretty sure they don't have hidden abilities. Uh, if they did, we would go Shell Armor or Turtwig, but shell, uh, crits are 1.5 times in this game. So we're gonna go Chimchar to get a guaranteed fighting type for Norman, I think. Yeah, it's usually just based on the text, so I guess we will just go ahead and get this. And it's a fire type. Okay, we got two fire types. Let's go get an encounter up here. Execute. That's pretty sick if we can evolve that. I think you evolve in... Uh, uh, Mauville. I think Mauville is where you get the, the leaf stone. Old Dale Town appears to also have an encounter, which is probably going to be another fire type, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Where is... There it is. Houndoom. Okay, are we going to get Intimidate? Does nope. Houndoom have Intimidate in this game? Timpole. Ooh, ground type. That's huge. Let's see what we got here. Not to, that's kind of dog too, but actually that's quite good for Brawly, isn't it? Let's go pound out some of these bad boys. We're not allowed to use speed up here. <laughs> good. Got the level advantage though, so it's fine. It fine though. Rookity, right. Rookity's nut, okay. Dead, good, moving on. Dodge this person, we cannot, okay. 81 orange berries, dear Lord. Spinda's got fake out. Ooh, wait. And metronome. That's a little scary. Maybe I should have equipped some orange berries. Probably should have done that. <sighs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty scary. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, flatter. Interesting. <sighs> you gotta switch out, though. Can't afford that. That's for sure. Let's go, Eggy. It might be it might be only two hits ever. All right, Spinda's got Fake Out and then Metronome. Uh, Eggy's pretty bulky. Yeah, that does nothing. All right, you know what? Hmm. Really playing with fire here. Oh my God! No custard. <laughs> Not much you can do about that. That was would have been really good into Brawly too, which kind of sucks. Krogunk, interesting. That's cool. I think a grass type is pretty, or uh, these bug types can be pretty good. And none of the water types are that amazing, so let's just do this. Oh, ho, ho, baby! We got a little fly! Okay, so this looks like the triathlete Mikey, so we have to fight him. Krabby, I don't know, man. Okay. It's gonna be tricky. How much does this do? Krabby has ridiculous defense, or uh, attack. But that, that seems manageable. Great. Nine damage. Stomp should do about the same. We'll get healed up. Great. Okay, good. Yanma has Sonic uh, acro or sonic Boom, so we gotta be careful with that. I Maybe mean, I should've gone Houndoom, but that's okay. 
Sonic Boom goes down to 15. Good. Ember. It's got Iron Ball, so it's always slower. Cheeky there, Dexa. What? 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 Oh, it just has speed. Fuck, I was thinking Lagging Tail. Yo, I'm done. All right, let's restart. Oh, Flygon just lost the starter to the Yanma. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. and he's resetting. Is he resetting? Yeah, he's resetting. Oh, I'm yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. 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 And you can speed up right back there real quick. Yeah. You're, about, you're allowed to speed up the fights you, you already beat. You've already right? beaten them. Yeah, basically, yeah. once you wipe, you can speed up to the same point as you had lost before. Yes, yes. It's, it's probably right. a good call to reset, yeah. I like it. Yeah. What was this thing's name? Flan? Stupid, uh, I, I was thinking lagging tail. Eh. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's get you. Ponyta. Deerling. Eh. Fetch this. Starly. I like it. All right, let's try it. Um, let's try it. Stomp. How much does this do? Cause a flinch. Darn it. Stomp again. Fairy wind again. Great. Okay, you're dead. Let's stay in once. Uh, we don't have anything with inner focus. Actually, we can just hard switch to Sherbert and then double kick. Okay, one more. No, no, no. He'll survive another one. Come on, Sherbert. Come on, Sherbert. Metronome. Don't die, Sherbert. Don't die on me, buddy. Magic powder. Interesting. I don't even know what that does. Okay. Now what? Now what? Now what? You've got metronome. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Smelling salt. That should be fine. That's a normal type and we're psychic. Okay. You're dead. Great. Much better. Much cleaner. All right. What do we got? Ooh. Lotad. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, are you kidding me? Any chance that these can evolve? Can even evolve? All right, so we can't we can't go hard or can't go speed up from here on out in trainer battles. Oh Jesus! Oh my God, crepe! That's a lot of damage there, buddy. Don't get flinched. It's gonna be too much damage. It's gonna be. Oh well. Okay. Okay, good job, creepy. Creepy. Uh, okay, you could have done a little better there, buddy. Eh. I think we just risk it. Stomp. <laughs> okay. All right, Yan, make Clobopus first. A little annoying that Rock Smash is now neutral because this is a normal type, but how much does it do? Nine damage. A crit just barely doesn't kill, hopefully. Ah, damn it. Just missed that. Uh, rock smash. Come on, don't crit. Looks like we were safe to not, uh, not crit there. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go Ponyta for Yanma, I think. Acrobatic. Shouldn't do much. Perfect. Speed boost, okay. Great, another one, the Sonic Boom, it goes to eight. Ah, shoot, we don't survive another Sonic Boom here. 31, how fast is this Yanma? There's a calc for this, there should be. Yanma is 13 speed, so it's at plus two now, right? So it should be 26, so we should, should still be faster. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay, goodbye. Jesus, okay, he's done. Team Aqua Grunt. He's got Carvana, Krogunk with a Salic Berry Execute. Carvana's got Rough Skin instead of Speed Boost, but it does have Aqua Jet. He's got Bite, Water Pulse, and Poison Fang. I think that should be okay if we hit it with the uh, with the Deerling. So Razor Leaf should get the kill there. Maybe Krogunk. Poison's Belch. Belch is quite the move there. It sees the kill with Belch. 
Maybe we don't want to lead with you then. This Belch is going to do dummy damage. Uh, we have no resistances to that. Um, okay, well. Okay, low key, if Combi can get Bug Bite, we can eat the Krogunk's Berry. There we go. Okay, so what if we do that? Oh, we, oh, out of my way. I need to make it to Slate Port. Okay, first boss battle. Team Aqua Grunt, Carvana. So this'll kill. Yep, Aqua Jet, that's fine. Shouldn't do much. Okay, so my concern here is it might just go hard belch, but oh, that doesn't even kill. Okay, how does that not kill? Deerling sucks. Um. All right, Combi, time to make yourself useful, buddy. Either you're gonna take a belch. Nice, fake out. Woohoo, that was a crit. Let's go, buddy. Do something cool. Do something cool. Eat his berry. Now you can't belch. It's gonna boost my speed, but I don't I don't really care about that. I just don't want you to belch. Okay, poison sting is fine. I guess it never went for belch. I mean honestly. Why don't we just let Combi Why don't we just let Combi cook for a second? Rock smash, huh? Rude. And you know what? We'll also eat the ex execute berry. <laughs> Combi is a god! Give me your orange berry. You poopy head. Big poopy head. Oh man, e execute as harvest though, but I ate your berry, so it doesn't matter, right? Um, we might as well stay in once. I don't want to get hit by a leech seed, yeah. And if we break through this. Nice, good job, combi. So it doesn't look like there's anything in Petalburg Woods, or do we not get access to Petalburg Woods? Thanks for trying to help. What's your name, kid? Okay. So we can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can't go in here. So now we should be able to, we should have a new level cap, right? Looks like it might be 16. No, it's 17. Okay, so Chimchar should be able to evolve. Okay, so Duford, I can either go for a fighting type in the grass or I can get another water type. I think I'm inclined to go for a fighting type in the grass. Okay, Pancham, interesting. Cool. Shelter, nice. Okay, um, what are we getting? We're getting Fampy. Okay, not the end of the world. Not too shabby and he's pretty darn cute, isn't he? Presumably we have to go this way, I can't. I can't imagine that Brawly will fight us if we don't. All right, Route 109 is another Pokemon encounter. Let's fish on this route to get encounter. Oh, that's adorable. All right, come on, we gotta be able to catch it now. It's at 1%. Really hope Popsicle doesn't die here. This was a little risky. I can't switch out because I'm clamped. Yes! Uh, this is pretty fun, I gotta say. I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I have genuinely no idea how I'm doing. I could very easily be doing very poorly compared to other people, but this has been fun. At least there's that. Don't confuse me. I would greatly appreciate it if you didn't confuse me, Flaffy. Thank you. A water pulse crit from Knit Arena will do at most 42. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. It might just go for toxic anyways. A crit would be annoying, but at the very least, we do have the berry, the orin berry, so we shouldn't hurt ourselves in confusion. Yep, yep, that checks out. That checks out, folks. That checks out real good. Real freaking good. Come on, cake, buddy. Oh, that would have made things so much easier. All right, it's not ogre until it's ogre now. Um, this is tier Tuga. Don't, oh, come the f on, man. But it should always go for a shockwave or toxic. It should never go for water pulse. So I'm gonna go back to cake here. It's a little risky. Good, perfect. Okay, that was kind of scary. I got to admit. Let's not get the third confusion. Water pulse, okay. Dude, are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now, Nidorino? All right, time to play around some crits. Ah, oh, god damn. I do have a Petra Berry, right? Nope. 
Okay, at least this should get me in semi-safely, but I don't I don't even think that matters. Um At least we get the berry. Okay, so shockwave here does 24 damage. So at least we can either mud slap or smackdown. Smackdown does damage, but then I don't really know what to do from there. Smackdown or mud slap. Let's just go for damage here. That's fine. Except for now, it, do it doesn't really matter though, because yeah, unfortunately, Venusoc and Shockwave are now going to do about the same damage. I think I go. F I think I go Monferno here for now. It should never Toxic now, which is good. Probably just goes Venice Shock. That shouldn't be that much damage. Okay. Water Pulse Crit does 30 damage. So I can go for Flame Wheel. Okay. Okay. Does another Flame Wheel kill? Flame Wheel does 32 to 38%. I don't think that kills. I don't think another Flame Wheel kills there. It's gonna go Venice Shock. I could go Cake. I might just have to risk the crit though. I guess I would kind of rather risk the crit on Zigzagoon, right? Yeah, I would. I would. All right. Yeah, so this never kills if it crits, and we can also headbutt flinch, potentially. Okay, okay, buddy, 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 buddy. Woo! Good job, Granola. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job, buddy. Came in clutch there. Okay, well, we can get another encounter here, Route 10. All right, let's see what we get. We got a Shinx. Okay, not terrible. You got Intimidate? You got Games? Nice, double Intimidator. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. New boss battle, who dis? All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Wing Attack, Payback, Nightshade. So we're going to Smackdown. Nightshade is a little annoying, but it's what it's. Smackdown. Good, and Aqua Jet should do the rest. Okay, Skrelp. Um, presumably comes out. I guess it could be Tirtuga. Skrelp! I need somebody, Skrelp! You go Puff. Toxic, perfect, I don't care about that. You know why? Because we got the berry, baby. We got that berry. Let's spark. Not quite enough for the one shot. Oh, dude. Actually, just go for toxic, I guess. Darn it. I swear, if you confuse me. That's a lot of damage. Holy cow. Okay, puff is pretty much useless then. Not much we can do about that. Okay, tier two go. Ideally, this baits it into going for Brine or Aqua Jet, which gives us relatively safe into Creppy. We could also go Mud Shot, which is kind of annoying. Brine, beautiful. You love to freaking see it, baby. Okay, Fake Out. It's got five PP in this gen. Just noticed that, so that's fun. So Absorb isn't gonna do a lot because it's got the Rindo Berry, but it should be. It should be enough to kill after that, as long as it doesn't AP boost here. Let's go for Mud Shot. Don't, don't AP boost, don't AP boost, don't AP boost, don't AP boost. Nice. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun. He was like, I got, I guess I'll die, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take three more HP on the way out, baby. Oh, so next up, Mariani, Frillish, and Whirlipede. Okay, Mariani, Venishock, Baneful Bunker, Soak, and Toxic. Um, this thing's a little tricky. The, the one that's going to be really tricky is the Whirlipede, though, so I do want to be, like, be cognizant about that. Um, I think I'd rather keep this around for the Whirlipede. So I'd rather not have this take damage, and I'd rather just hard go to Cake. That's... I'm not going to lie, that's pretty annoying. I think we can still bulldoze here. It's faster. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, but but cake is useless after this. So I think it's okay to bulldoze again. We should be faster now. Yep. That's a sneak ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Mariani dead. Mariani found dead. 
All right, this might bring out Whirlipede first, though, which is a bit scary, if I'm being entirely honest, but we'll see. Frillish, okay. So it's either going to go for Hex or Wallapos here. I think either way, we can go to Creepy. Good. Much better than shot. Wait, that makes no sense. Oh, right, because I'm I'm water type. <laughs> um, totally forgot about that. That's okay. Absorb. Ooh, that does nothing. We're eventually gonna get a curse body proc too. Um, how much does hex do? A lot. Okay. Okay, let's think about this. That's kind of annoying. So here's where, mm, that's two hexes. Eventually it'll run out of hexes. Nice, 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 nice. I think we might be able to snipe the kill here. That's 16 damage, so crit is 24. So with, with the absorb, we should still be safe to a crit here, but we get the kill, perfect. Okay, we're Lapid, right. Okay, this guy's a little scary. All right, I think we start with Meringue. Be really cool if you didn't poison here. Okay. I think because we have the berry, it's okay to smack down here. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, that's game. That's game. Assuming that smack... Oh, actually, it's not necessarily game. How much does this do? Mm, it's close. Smackdown doesn't give me... Okay, okay. Smackdown doesn't do Rocky Helmet Chip kind of assumed it would. Let's go. Let's go. High roll. Great job, Meringue. Oh my God, what a trooper. Great. That's awesome. 21. Oh, yes. wait, Combi can evolve? Let's go. Woo. Oh my God, I had no idea. I thought male Combi was a joke. Vespi King, baby. Wow, wait, this is huge. Okay, well, um, I mean, hopefully we don't like piss this away or something, but this is promising. This is promising. I need to actually, I need to fill up some water first. I'll be right back. Taking over the stream. Poppy, we're in a race. It's a race against time, Poppy. But if you can't, if you can't make time for Poppy, what's the point of the race? You know, Meditite probably can do a lot of damage. Um, Staravia. Not really. Only the highest of the high rolls crit kill here. I guess, I guess this does, deals with it okay. Just bubble beam twice for the kill. Machoke has vital throw, fachade, guts, careful, but it has leftovers. So I think we can just go ahead and kill Machoke with Vespiquen. Herder's got rock throw as well. The combination of rock and fighting type moves is like, Frustratingly difficult to counter. Okay, so let's bring Fampy instead of either Ponyta or Lombre. Okay. This one's a little trickier. I don't love this matchup, but I think that's probably my best bet. I hope this is the right guy. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Yeah, this is Black Belt Christian. Okay. Hello there. Oh, no. Surprise! Double battle! Okay. Um, that's sneaky, man. Also, Cedra kind of has to bounce, yeah? Um, so I'm hoping the Brillum goes for Bullet Seed here. I can, what I can do here is I can go to Bunt, get the Intim, and hope that Meditite doesn't crit. I can either Air Slash Brillum for the kill or Air Slash Meditite so that we get the kill on the next turn. So I think I go air slash into Meditite here. But if we get crit, we're in a lot of trouble. Just get Intimidate. Also, if Breloom like spores, honey, or, you know. Okay, good fake out. Good fake out there. And bullets eat perfect. That's fine. That was best case scenario. Oh, it's got Koba Berry. F you, Meditite. I totally, I, I, it's got a nerve. God, honey, coming in clutch. Okay, okay, so actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Yeah, yeah, Breloom, whatever. Um, but now Girder's gonna come in. Um, Girder's gonna come in with Rock Throw. 
This could get real ugly. If it spores honey, at least I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go eclair. Air slash into girder. Perfect. 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 Okay, ideally this doesn't crit. Okay, Orenberry's huge there. Great. Air slash. Good. Okay. Okay. And that kills. Perfect. 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 Okay. Macho does 54% into Ponyta. Okay, this is a little risky, but what I'm thinking of doing is bouncing into Macho. If I bounce into Macho and Air Slash, just don't spore honey. Please don't spore honey. Nice, 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 nice. Don't crit. Okay, bounce. Um, okay. Macho goes for Facade. Okay, not too bad. Air Slash, does that kill? It doesn't. Okay, okay, so if bounce hits, we're we're okay. Machoke doesn't have protect. Oh, it does have protect. F yes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> That's so annoying. It has protect. Nice. No miss. Don't. Good job. Good job, Eclair. Good job, buddy. So proud of you. Okay. Okay, okay. We're faster than Mianfu. All right, help me get one more, please. Bounce with Mianfu. Switch to Jello. Yeah. That was a crit. <laughs> Great. Okay, last one, Baneri. Triple Axle, pretty scary. It's got Jump Kick as well. Okay. Good damage. Nice. All right, great. Got out of that. Um, Brawly, for those who are unaware, has Cub Fu, yep, the legendary, Low Punny, Combuskin, Hitmontop, Poliwhirl, and Scraggy. So Cub Fu, I think we do Vespiquen. Combuskin has Thunder Punch. Do Aqua Jets kill Combuskin from Tier 2 go? I think we do bring Luxray. So I think the obvious ones are one, two, three. Seedra be bulky. Low Punny with Retaliate is monstrous. I think we do want to bring you because of Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl is pretty scary otherwise. Uh, we do have a normal resistant tier Tuga, so maybe we also bring tier Tuga. Is that weird? Because then it's just one of these three here. But Seedra should be faster than a lot of Pokemon. Seedra just outspeeds Combuskin and can almost potentially one shot with Bubble Beam. Since we have double Intimidators, Shelter can come in and then just kind of sit on like Hitmontop, for example. Nah, yeah, Shelter's not. It's, it's too much work to switch around. Those things are not bulky enough. Let's do this and just see how it goes, right? Maybe the uh, the end of attempt two here, baby. Here we go. This is badge number one in Pokemon Run and Bun. He starts with a Cub Fu. That's super fun. Let's just Air Slash here. Mega Punch, kind of rude. But it doesn't do a lot, so that's good. Ah, oh, we miss out on the kill, though. Eat his berry. Give me your berry, you asshole. Nice. Wasn't planning on doing that, but that was sick. Okay, hit him on top. So we can kind of go to Puff here. Perfect. No crit. Let's let's baby doll eyes here. If this didn't have Okay. I just I just don't have an answer into this thing. We could go bunt cake. We could go Staravia. I'm gonna go for sp yeah, let's go for spark. Just, I'd re I really need these hitmon chance to not crit. Um, that's kind of nice, but he's got the Lumberry, so it doesn't matter. Even at minus three, him on top kills Luxray here.
Come on, Fippy. Come on, Fippy. <gasps> the attract play. Yo. Fampy. Home girl. Cakes on cakes on cakes. Yo! So the thing is, it's it's pretty safe here to go back to honey, and then we can kill with honey. But I don't even know if I want that because then Scraggy comes in with Rock Tomb, which is super annoying. Okay, Fampy, I need you to kill here. Let's go, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're still fat. Oh, it's going for Mock Punch. Okay, interesting. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so that was a misplay, but it went for Mock Punch. So now I can Ice Shard, but like, that was a little dumb. Okay. Low Punny, ah. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Meringue. Yep, that's scary. Should do a lot of damage. Not horrible. And we're gonna Aqua Jet to activate the Eject button. Okay, um, actually, no, 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 that's fine. Okay, Combuskin now. With Thunder Punch, Double Kick, Incinerate, and Work Up, I'm gonna just Aqua Jet for the two shot here. Go for Work Up. Please go for Work Up. Darn it. It literally does 50 to 60%, so it straight up should always kill this. Get clucked. Okay, okay. Um, now what? Okay, so this is probably going Hidden Power Ice and or Super Power. I mean, Hidden Power Grass. So this is Creepy's time to play. That's three down, Low Pony, Poliwhirl, Scraggy. This is Hidden Power Grass. Yeah, it does nothing. No reason not to fake out. Absorb. Yeah, Super Power sucks, but it is what it is. 48. That was about 30 damage, 29 damage. So even if it crits on this next turn, we should get it, because we'll gain back a decent amount here, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's so toit. That is so toit. It's gonna be so toit. Just, just don't crit again, although I guess, well, yeah. Yeah, just don't crit, okay. All right, so it's Scraggy and Low Punny. Um, so we're gonna go to Meringue again on the Retaliate. So now I think it's relatively safe to go to Vespiquen. Yep. Okay. Yeah, crits are 1.5 times in this game. So now, um, it could headbutt, it could retaliate. Some flinches here would really suck, but let's, let's just go for... 15, okay. 15 damage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so tight again. 15 damage. Okay, with the Orin Berry, we're good. Um, okay, no crit. Beautiful. Amazing, there's the crit. <laughs> Honey, crushing it. Scraggy time. Okay, Fampy. Okay, Fampy. Okay. So it does go for raw, it does go for super effective moves, even if the it's a speed dropping move and we're already faster. So that's that's good to know. Power up punch is a little scary, but I'm gonna first doze and then I'm gonna start charming. All right, all right, I think we got this. I think we actually freaking got this. Okay, we're gonna go bull uh bulldoze here. Pain attack. 45. Ah, I think I risk Staravia if I risk anything. Ideally, it doesn't Rock Tomb here. Ideally, it... But... Damn it! That's really bad. We just risked the crit.
We are straight up just still faster than this, but I don't think Aerial Ace kills. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, that's okay, that's okay. So the question is, do I sack Lugs Ray or do I sack uh, Bunt Cake? I just don't think Lugzio is that good. All right, Lugzio. You do survive. Not a high roll of faint attack, but I think unfortunately after that, you just gotta, you just gotta let it go. Yeah. I think we just have to go Spark here. All right, Scrafty, Scraggy, you win, I lose. Goodbye, Puff. That should be enough. Thank you for your sacrifice, Puff. Rest in peace, buddy. Man. That was brutal. That was brutal. <laughs> I think that was the right play. Sucks to lose an Intim Mon like that, but I think that was the right play. So in Petalburg Woods, what can we get in Petalburg Woods? Um, Steamy. Okay, I guess. All right, Don Dozo, time to go, Gozo. That's fine. Electroweb, you fool. Fooled around and just, you, you fooled. Don fan, do you? You don't, buddy. Buddy, you're kind of, you're kind of slow. I gotta say. Yeah, that's a little scary. That is, that is a little scary, but it's fine. See, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now we get the double one shot. Bye, Clee Fairy. I mean, Daydane. Okay. Um. So now it's just the. The two little fellas, yeah. It should be fine. Bulldoze and Cryptkick. Psybeam? Ah, don't confuse, actually. That'd be pretty bad. Nice. Love it. Lovely! Goodbye, Abra. Toga tomorrow is at 1 HP, which means we can just ice shard it. Okay, goodbye. Mmm. Aww. How cute. It's looking a lot like sun and moon up in this club. And it's Clam Pearl. Okay. Ah, damn it. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, why don't we why don't we bang out the um why don't we do the the gym first and then go from there maybe. I am Bob the Molite. What? Why did that do so much more damage? Oh, I'm on doubles. Ugh, that was stupid. Okay, so we have made it to Leader Roxanne. So just for people who, who don't know, she's got Bisharp, a 10% Zygarde form, Aurorus, Caracosta, Lunatone, with a weakness policy, and Solrock. Okay, so fighting types seem to be pretty Gucci. The the thing with this Bisharp is that it has a Focus Sash. We do outspeed the Bisharp, so theoretically we can just hit it, I guess, with like a fire type move, just in case it burns and then kill Bisharp. So the Pokemon of interest here are these ones. Let's let's lay lay these guys out. If we go with Monferno into Bisharp, then that means one of these uh, guys has to go. Zygarde is obviously probably pretty weak to Seedra. Does Aurora Beam just kill Zygarde? Slash, do we outspeed? It does, but we don't outspeed, and Thousand Arrows is a two shot. Actually, with Orenberry, if it doesn't crit, it'll be fine, but... But I think we bring Seedra regardless. So let's say we bring this one, we bring this one. Actually, I wonder if... Oh man, it'd be sick if this could learn Triple Axel. Ooh, it can. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, but Zygarde has Skitter Smack. I'll be honest, I don't really know what that does. But Inferno learns Fake Out at 26. We can just deal, we can just kill Bisharp straight up. All right, we got the rare candy. All right, so let's use a rare candy to level up Flan here. And he learns Fake Out, which means we can Fake Out the Bisharp and then low sweep it for the KO just right away. Dude, this is, this is a nutty team. This is a nutty, nutty team. All right, Roxanne. 
You and me, baby. Okay. Be sharp. So for step one, fake out. Flinches. This is defiant, not inner focus, fortunately. Bisharp flinches, that breaks its focus sash, and low sweep kills. One down. Um, I imagine Zygarde comes out next with Thousand Arrows. Yep. So I think it's just hard Dawn Fan. Thousand Arrows is going to do a decent amount of damage, but we're pretty bulky. Right, buddy? Yeah. Okay. And let's get the high roll here. This is a dragon ground type for people who don't know. It's a Zygarde form. Nice. We got the KO. Beautiful. Okay. What's next? Okay. Aurorus. So here's the thing that I just realized. I absolutely 100% should have given this a cherry berry because it's probably going to go power gem. I'm a body slam and that has a chance to paralyze. And if it does, then that's kind of because Orin Berry is useless to me here if this, uh, if this paralyzes. Absolutely could have, could have dodged that. Oh, they got, woo! <laughs> All right, we're just, we're just gonna go for the low sweep. It's guaranteed to kill. Faster, low sweep kills. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, um, now what? Caracosta, okay. Good news, it won't go for ancient power. It should just go for razor shell and or aqua jet, which means it should be okay to either go into Serena or Creepy. but then it's gonna start going for ancient power, which is pretty scary if it gets the high roll. Let's go Creepy. No defense drop. That's sick. Um, we might as well fake out. We are faster. This thing has a Rindo Berry. So let's go Magical Leaf. Takes the Rindo Berry. Oh, it's going to be tight, actually. Please don't get the AP boost here. Oh, it just goes Zen Headbutt. Let's go. Okay, um, it's really enticing to absorb, but I think Magical Leaf should just kill. Oh yeah, I forgot that it loves doing that. Um, okay, okay. Okay, that's four down. Or it will be, right? Good, good job, Creepy. Lunatone, fun time. I don't, I do not want to activate anything here. It's gonna go AP. Don't get the boost, don't get the boost, don't get the boost. Please don't get the boost, please don't get the boost. Okay, this is gonna go Icy Wind or Hypnosis, but um, wait, wait, wait. If this goes Icy Wind, we can just go into Lycan Rock, Rock Tomb, and then Fruitcake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Seedra deals with, okay. That's fine, just don't hit it again. Just like go for something else, please. Wait, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've got freaking Sweet Veil on this. That's a waste of a, mm, that was stupid of me. Okay, it's two in, no, 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 that's so bad, dude. I think I, I think I like wipe. I think I just straight up wipe. Um, I think, I think I wipe cause it's got stored power. Stored power is going to be at like 80 base power. This is where I needed the, the Galarian Zigzagoon. If I had Galarian Zigzagoon, then we're still fine. But I, I think I wipe here. I can't, I have nothing to switch into. I can sack something, I guess, but then what? Then I go Serena. Okay. Okay. Seedra has clear smog and we're still faster. Okay. But I have to let something go down to get it in for free. I think I just let Ludicolo go down. Nah, it just, it just sees the kill with stored power, so it's gonna go for stored power. I gotta switch to creep. Sack creep, bring Jello in, clear smog. It hopefully goes for stored power. And then I, I genuinely don't know. All right, creep, I'm sorry. You did really good taking out that Caracosta, but this Lunatone got an AP boost. Not much I can do about it, buddy. Three 
EAPs. It's four APs. Don't get another one. I swear, don't get another one. Thank you. I'm trope kick now. This is kill. This has to kill. Oh, thank God. Well, crit. Okay. Whoo! We got a fun little problem to solve. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't flinch either. Ooh! Okay, okay. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Attack is dropped, which is huge. So now, if it doesn't crit again, I think the play is Seedra. Rock Slide does 22 damage at most to Seedra. Psycho Cut doesn't kill either. We outspeed and we kill. All right, buddy. It's up to you. It's up to you, Jello. Show me what you got, buddy. Survive. Hold. Oh my god, it went for Psycho Cut. It's gonna hide. It's gonna crit. <gasps> they did a crit! Yes! Let's go! Woo! Wow. Was that a gripping finale or what? Seven hours into the race, I became just the fourth person to defeat Roxanne. There were technically two more badges to go, and it was still anyone's race, but seven hours was all I was able to give. Other racers continued streaming for nearly 11 hours, and a winner was eventually crowned. But when it was all said and done, I still ended up tying for sixth. You are Congrats. tied for sixth place with Flygon HG. I think that's pretty solid, but that's just one tortoise's opinion. Be sure to check out all the other competitors and their coverage of the event using the links in the description down below. Go give them some love, they're all really cool content creators, and it was an honor to be part of such an exciting event. Be sure to stay tuned for more Nuzlocke videos, and until then, remember to always, always, always play around the critical hit.